Why do I think St. John's houses are so colorful? Sometimes when you're walking in downtown St. John's, the fog is so thick you can kick it. So I think it has something to do with Newfoundlanders trying to figure out where they're going. Well, I think the St. John's houses are so colorful because the people are outgoing. Uh, colorful people, friendly people, and I think that's part of the attraction of coming here. It's just, it's just scenic, and uh, you see people taking pictures just of houses. Several decades ago, it would have been a, a relatively uncolorful town. Uh, the range of painted colors would have been much more limited, often probably would have seen buildings that were whitewashed. In the old days in St. John's, they used to burn coal, so that would have made it quite sooty. So I suspect that uh, back in the day that St. John's was actually kind of a dull looking place in terms of its colors. This really started in the 1970s, and a group that played a, a key role in this was the St. John's Heritage Foundation. But what had happened in St. John's, um, a lot of people had left the old part of the city and had moved out into the suburbs in the 1950s and 60s. So downtown St. John's actually was, I understand, was a pretty hard looking place. And so the foundation started to go in and acquire some of the old houses and fix them up. And at the time they were getting inspired by what was happening in other places, for example, San Francisco. As well, you were seeing people moving in like artists, uh, people who were coming from away or or Newfoundlanders who had been living away and they had seen what was happening elsewhere. I moved here from Labrador probably about 20 years ago and I didn't really like St. John's until I moved uh, downtown. And I think downtown is really vibrant, really colorful, kind of reflects the people a little bit, a lot of artists, a lot of, it's a real sense of community uh, here in St. John's. I think the colors of the houses are just part of that. St. John's houses are so colorful because of the people here. And the way people dress in that, no matter where you walk, it's, everything is beautiful, everything is colorful. There was a really interesting project uh, maybe 15 years ago, which was a collaboration between Templeton's, uh, the Heritage Foundation of Newfoundland and Labrador, and Matchless Paints. And it turned out when people were restoring their heritage homes in St. John's and, and they wanted to paint their house a heritage color, they were looking to what was available, which at that time was the Benjamin Moore historic color paints, and those were really based on a New England color palette. The decision was made to, well, let's do something that was really about this place, about Newfoundland and Labrador. Matchless paint used to be a Newfoundland company, so what were the paints that, since the 1920s and 30s, that that company had produced that were obviously used in this place? There was a woman who was working with the Heritage Foundation, Lara Maynard. Her role was to identify names for, for these various colors. And they're based on such things, I mean, dories obviously is the boat, and uh, that was a common color that was used. There's kind of a myth out there, I think, that um, Newfoundlanders painted their houses the same colors as their boats, but I, I don't think that's actually the case. They had a number of other, other paints that were available to them. Well, in Ontario, most of the houses are the same. Uh, and to see houses of different colors, I mean, it's just different. You don't see it anywhere else in Canada that I've traveled. My color of my house is blue. And I got a green one inside me and a yellow one on the other side of me. And it continues on from there. My house is charcoal gray. It's a historical color. But I figure I'm colorful enough, so I don't need the house to be colorful too. I would say paint technology played a big role. Early colors would have been based on natural products that were available, so red ochre would have been based on a mineral. So then with, with technology after the Second World War and in, in the, the wonders of chemicals, there were a whole bunch of new colors that were, were developed. One of the things about St. John's, it's a town built of wood and clapboard, so paint is something that needs to be replaced every few years. So you can change the color if you want. If this was a town made of stone or brick, we wouldn't be doing these kind of bright colors. The jelly bean row phenomena was actually uh, a name that was given to some public housing that was built on Forest Road. It subsequently put, had vinyl on it, so it's lost its color, but every house was painted a different color. And it seems that this term has actually come to apply to downtown St. John's. 
weather in Newfoundland being what it is, it gets really gray, it gets really foggy, especially in the winter time. I think, you know, having colorful houses to look at is a way of brightening your day. The romantic in me thinks that it has more to do with the fact that we have such an imaginative, wonderful personality. I feel like I'm on top of the world because this is my home and I wouldn't leave the rack for nobody. It's a beautiful spot to live and the houses and the colorful things around you is just beautiful.